<laughs> Keeping going on the, the theme of letters, this is a letter that I received from my education. Uh, and it, it just reads as follows. It said exactly this. <laughs> Dear Kevin Devaney, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> what did you think you were going to do here? Have one drunken escapade on the scale of a weekend, two nights spent doing topless push-ups on a bar somewhere in Bronxville, maybe get a sugar mama, try doing your first book, your last teenager, blow Jeffrey McDaniel and just... Call it a degree! <laughs> Fuck you, Kevin. You don't even like poetry. You just like women who hang out at poetry readings. Yay! You radiator, shoestring, gyroscope. You spun for so long you think any three nouns make a perfectly acceptable image. I had a first year tell me that you're a fucking womanizer. Why don't you go home and listen to transcribed waka flocka lyrics or read statistics about Sarah Palin's book sales? Why are you so busy looking at Church Hill's black dog? Why not stretch while you floss? Why not wake up every morning at 6 a.m. and go for a jog? And it doesn't matter that it's 12 degrees. Get warmer clothes. It doesn't matter that you can't afford warmer clothes. Just go for a jog. 6 a.m. every day. You'll warm up. Rediscover the yellow in light. The way it is different from the white that has had its hands all over midday like the sheen on a satin prom dress. Or like, after your life's first gin and tonics, your hands on a satin prom dress. And why didn't you have a better prom date? Why not think about what that means? While you're stretching towards your ten lazy toes depressing rows into the pink shag bath mat next to the stacks of old National Geographic magazines that still have advertisements for the new iPod Nano. I mean, fuck man, you don't even floss. You recorded over the anthem with the dulling crinkle of shopping bags and your own voice rattling heavy in the lav mic. Fucker, and why are you so down all the time? Sometimes I swear you're like a reverse Jay-Z. 99 problems in every goddamn one of them. Why not go bathe in wine or chocolate? Why not go find someone with legs worth sucking on for a few days? Transcribe their halo into your dance and stop going to Mets games and counting all the empty seats like that kind of absence could cover you in gray and leave you there if you just start caring a little bit more about the world before your hands reach back for the breasts of nostalgia's prom dress. I mean, seriously, get your shit together. Write yourself a fucking letter. <laughs>